Hi, my name is Alex, and in this episode of Magic Missile Minis, I'm going to be continuing my Orc Tower project. In this video specifically, I'm going to be actually adding some miniatures onto the tower that we made in the last episode. So, in the last video, we made the main body for our Orc Tower. And we had also made this little compartment, and that is what we're going to be focusing on to start this video off. We're going to be making the little turret and the Gretchen that is going to be manning said turret. And so for the turret, I'm going to be using these two pieces as kind of a base. And I'm thinking what I'm probably going to do is create a type of mortar after I chop off the larger bit of the one piece. And then I attach the two pieces using some of the weld bond glue that I've been using recently. And then I file down the piece so that there's a smooth transition between the two. And then using a craft knife, I decided to also create a little bevel around the edge of it. Uh, to flatten out the one side that I'm going to be attaching to whatever stand I'm going to be make later, I add a little bit of styrene here and so I can create a nice flat surface to work on later. As I mentioned earlier, my original plan was to turn this into a mortar, but then I got these styrene tubes that I ordered finally, and I decided I would use those to make it like a Gatling gun type deal. So I take the tubing and I chop it up evenly and try to find all of the many pieces that are all around my desk, so that I'm left with seven evenly cut tubes that I then put into the piece that we had made earlier, and then make sure to connect them all with a good bit of my weld bond glue. I then cover the end with a large amount of the weld bond glue and put that inside the casing that we had just made before. Gatling guns often have like a little piece of metal that attaches all the tubes at the very end. Since I didn't want to actually do that, I just cover them in little spiky bits that make it look kind of orky and slapped together. That way I could be lazy and have it look kind of cool. As you can see me doing here, I also add some larger spiky bits onto the main part of the Gatling gun. Once again, just trying to make it as orky as possible. I then add another piece of styrene onto the place that we had flattened out before to cover up the little hole that showed up after I had sanded it down a little bit. One of the things I got with this smaller tubing was also some slightly larger tubing. And so what I'm going to do is chop that up and use that to connect the Gatling gun to the stand that I'm going to make. Speaking of which, to make this stand, I start by a platform that the Gretchen is going to be standing on, chopping that up to make sure that it's not a perfect square or too symmetrical. Here you can kind of see where it's going to be standing in relationship to the gun itself. But before I actually attach everything together, I also want to make sure I get the Gretchen in there so that I have a better idea of where he's going to be in regards to the rest of the little turret. I then cut out two identical pieces of styrene and glue them together to act as the arm that the turret is going to be attached to, filing them down a little bit to make sure that they look like they are one piece. I then add a little bit of the weld bond glue and then stick that onto the little platform that we had made before. One of the options for this Gretchen that I picked was to have him holding a grenade over his head, but I decided rather I was going to have him putting the grenade forward and make it look more like a handle that he could use to aim the turret. And with that I can attach the turret to the little arm that we added to the platform earlier and glue on an extra little bit of styrene that the grenade or handle that the Gretchen is holding onto can attach to. I then quickly attach the Gretchen's head onto the Gretchen and add two little pieces of styrene onto the bottom of the platform so that it has something that it looks like it pivots on. And then I also wanted to have a little belt with some shells on it that was feeding into the Gatling gun. So I then chop out a bunch of tiny little pieces of the smaller tubing that I got and glue those onto this little curving belt piece that I had cut out. Then repeat this process over and over and over again, doing it on both sides and then I end up with something that looks kind of like a belt of bullets that can go into our Gatling gun. And to make sure that everything is stable, I add some of the weld bond glue onto all of the pieces to connect them all together and then file them down to make them all even. You can then take some styrene glue and attach that to the gun itself, lining that up with a little compartment that we had made to make sure that everything will fit. After that, I decided to work a little bit on the compartment itself. 
I didn't want it to be just a bland box that this guy was in. So I add this little manhole in the back and cover it up with this extra little piece that I got from a different orc set. I also add a little spare tubing that I had right here just to make it look a little bit more interesting. I also put the turret in the little compartment and mark where the bullets are exiting the roof. And I add this little piece of styrene to kind of cover up the transition between the roof and the belt of bullets. Which means that this part of the build is actually finished and you can kind of get an idea of what this is going to look like. I also decided I would attach the compartment itself onto the rest of the build because I realized it'd be fairly easy to paint as long as the turret itself wasn't in there. The next thing I wanted to work on was the other little area that is jutting out from the top of the tower. And here you can see the two miniatures I plan on adding into this space. Though to make sure they fit, I have to chop them up a little bit. I took off the back of this guy's leg and most of his foot as well as the feet for the other miniature. I also wanted these guys to be a little bit taller than they were already, so I add some pieces of styrene together so that they can act as little stands for them so that they'll be peeking out of the window that I'm going to make later where I want them to be. And for this guy, I wanted him to be leaning forward a little bit, so I simply take my file and file down the little styrene platform that I had made for him. Now to make the window. So here you can see I've drawn out where I want the window to be and put an X through it. And so I score that up and then I bend the pieces to try and break these X's and then I can actually just poke out the little triangles that I separated from the rest of the styrene. So I can then peel them out and have a little window. Before I assemble everything I add a little bit of styrene onto the back of the little space that they're going to be in. And here you can kind of see what the final product is going to be. All I have to do now is actually glue everything together. So I attach everything the same way I have been for the entire project, adding a little bit of the weld bond cement. And I also file this guy down because he was a little bit too big around some of the edges since this square wasn't actually a perfect square. Then I can glue in the two miniatures making sure to attach their heads as well, just to make sure that nothing is in the way when I've glued everything together. But before I move on, I wanted to make sure that this window was nice and orky, so I take a bunch of tiny little pieces of styrene and glue on these little spikes all around the edges of it, as well as adding some slightly larger parts to cover up the areas that were kind of empty in the window, so I didn't have to worry about painting the background, and of course it helps add the orky kind of slap together feel. Alright, so the next thing that I wanted to do was have these two guys kind of hanging out of the window that we had made the last episode. So I start by getting rid of this guy's gun, which I do primarily off camera so that I don't cut myself. And I also get rid of his legs as well, which I'm actually going to save for later for another part of the project that I want to do. And I also get rid of the gun in the other guy's hand so he can be kind of holding on to the other dude. I then attach the guy to the window using a little bit of green stuff and I make sure to film it at the very top of the screen so that you can barely see it because I'm good at making YouTube videos. And then slightly to the right but still off camera I attach a little like manhole cover so that I can cover up all the parts that I don't really want to paint with any detail. So now I let that stuff set and I can work on what I was planning to do with these legs. What I wanted to do was that somewhere on the top of the tower I was going to have a little entrance into what would be the rest of the tower. And I decided I would have like a little manhole that had this guy coming out of it. So I cut up a fairly simple shape just using some spare pieces that I had lying around. Gluing on this little border to make it look like there's actually an entrance. Just like the last guy, I take some green stuff and use that to attach the miniature's feet into the little manhole. Then I attach this little manhole cover type deal that I added a couple little bits to to make it look kind of orky. After that, I just start to assemble the rest of the miniatures that I have in this set, because I wanted to have a bunch of these guys just hanging out on the roof of this tower. One of the main guys that I assemble is this big orc that comes in the set of Gretchen. And I'm going to be using the same arm that I used in the last video that I took the little squig off of. And I cut a little indentation for it so that I can actually have him kind of holding on to the railing of the tower. So you can kind of see here, although it's upside down. Then actually cut out a bit from the sprue and I'm going to use this to attach all of these miniatures that I'm going to paint to. I've seen people do this when they're going to paint a bunch of miniatures at the same time and I thought it would be a good idea. And here you can see the four different miniatures that I plan on attaching to the top of this tower. 
Then to finish everything off, I go around and attach all the bolts that I'm going to need to. So again, like I've done in the past few videos, I take some milliput, roll it out into a thin little noodle, and cut that up after it's set, and using some super glue, I attach that everywhere I need a little bolt. And I make sure to do this around all the different guys that I've made today to really just add that finishing detail that makes it look like an orc thing. One last detail that I add was I wanted to have this little piece here onto the back of the tower since it was looking a little lackluster. So I chop it up to make it look less asymmetrical and then put a bunch of these weld bond glue and stick that onto the back of the tower. And with that detail added, the miniature is ready for painting, which I'm going to get to in the next episode in this series. I think this project is turning out really, really well. I love how everything's turning out. I love the Gatling gun. I'm so glad that I managed to get those styrene rods, because I think that looks so much better than the other plan that I had for it. So far, this project is turning out exactly how I envisioned it, which, as I've mentioned in some videos before, that rarely happens, and so when it does happen, it's so exciting and just really, really cool. I'll be trying to respond to as many comments as I can, but I'm actually traveling over the summer, and if you're interested in what exactly I'm doing, you can go check out the update video on the homepage of my YouTube channel. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.